Heather here. So I had a request to color up Hazel here, so we're going to do that. And she's a Whimsy Stamps image that I had in the store as a kit, and they've already sold out. But I wanted to color her so that you could see how I did it. And I've already stamped her with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink on Nina 80 Pound Solar White Cardstock. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with her skin, and I'm going to use my standard colors, which is E21, E00, E000, R20, and R30 for the cheeks. And there's a whole bunch of different um, skin tones posted on the blog if you want to go over there and um, look those up, and you can try whatever color you like. So I'm going to start with E21, and I'm going to shade, lay this down where I want it to be shaded first. So let's do underneath of her arm, do the back of her arm right next to her little dress and she's got this cute little crease on her arm so I'm going to go ahead and get that and then she's got just a little bit of her neck showing right here so I'm going to go ahead and give that a little dab and since it's such a small area it's probably going to cover it in and then she's got her little ear and then let's go up here and do underneath of her hair and her hat and I'm going to shadow this side here go over here and she's got hair right here that kind of um, there's a space in between there where her face shows, so I'm going to get that. And I'm also going to give just a little tad down the side of her hair. And let's get underneath of her little lip right here just a little bit. And then her nose, I'm going to go ahead and give that a little bit of a shadow line like that. Then I'm going to grab E00, and I'm going to brush over the top of my E21, and pull out into my white. I'm going to leave a little bit of white right there on her arm, fill in her ear in this little space right here where her face is showing through her hair, and then let's go up here and get her face. I'll pull that right over. Let's get a little bit over here, brush that out just a little bit. Okay, I like how that looks. So then I'm going to grab my E000 and I'm going to fill in her arm space. And then I'm going to fill in this space right here on her face. Then I'm going to add some cheek color. I'm going to go with R20 first. And you can just brush it on however you want. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a circle here. Maybe a little bit on this side. And then I'm going to take R30 and feather just the edges. So I've touched my R20 with the tip and I go right out into her skin tone just a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to blend it a little bit better. So I'm going to take my E00 and I'm going to go over the top of this cheek. And the top of this cheek. And then I'm going to grab E000 and just go over her whole face. And I'm going to try to avoid her little eyes because she's got a little pupil in there that I want to stay white. If you go over the top of them, that's okay. Just use your colorless blender to erase it. So like that, and we have our face and her arm, so let's do her hair. Okay, so for her hair, I'm going to use E18, E09, E08, and E07. I'm going to start with E18 and lay down where I want it to be darkest. So I want it to be darkest underneath where her hat is touching her hair. Same with this side. And then her hair kind of curls back under right here next to her face. So I'm going to get just a little bit right there and right along her cheek. Down here to the bottom. Okay, and then her hair on this side looks like it kind of dips in. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this right there in the dip. Same for down here at the bottom. And let's go up here and see how our little bang kind of floats down over here, but this side looks like it's it's underneath, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit like on the edge of that underneath part. And she's got a few little curly cues, so let's go ahead and get those dipped in sections. 
And I'm going to do right back here where it looks like her ponytail is scrunching into next to her, her head there, just a little bit, right along the edge. And maybe along the edge of this one because this piece looks like it's over the top. And then let's get underneath by her ear. And here's a little dipped in space, so let's do that one. And then she's got this little bun thing back here, so I'm going to go ahead and go right next to the back of the bun. And then maybe just do each of these little lines. Give those a little bit of a highlight. And let's do this little curly cue that's sticking out and this little whoop de doo And here's a little one. And I have no idea why they put this one here, but I'm just going to make it the same color as her hair so it doesn't distract from her hair there, but it's just in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why they put that there. And then I'm going to go with E09, and I'm going to brush right over the top of my E18 that I just put down and just add a little bit more color. Add a little bit down here where these little underneath hair is. I'm trying to brush this, the edges of each of my E18 I just laid down with this color so that it'll feather that line just a little bit. And then of course I'm going to go over each one of these little um, lines that I highlighted so that it'll soften the edges. back here on the edge of her little bun. Let's better get this side. Okay, then I'm going to grab E08 and I'm going to again just go over the E09 that I just put down. So you're going to touch down on the E09 just a little bit. And this side there's not much le room left over here on where I'm coloring so I'm just going to fill that in. Plus this side looks like the hat tipping down should be casting a little bit more of a shadow on there. So it's okay that it's mostly filled in already. Right, and we'll go over here and do this side. over those little lines that we had here in the back of her hair. And I'm not being too particular about it. I'm just filling some space in. And I don't use these markers very much, so they're pretty wet. So you might want to just use the tip if you haven't used them too much. So then I'm going to fill it all in with E07. Go over the rest of her little hair here and add in my lightest color and pick up all those little white spaces that I left. And I went outside the lines there, but I'll clean that up a little bit later with my colorless blender. So that is her hair. That looks pretty good. Um, you could go back in with your E18 and just add a little bit more shadows if you wanted to, like underneath of her hat and make it a little bit darker. Or wherever you wanted to highlight it up. Maybe some of these little um, curly cues back here, you want to darken those back up. 
but it's totally up to you. Just look at your little your girl after you get her hair done and see where you want to add a few more shadows. So let's move on to um, looks like her hat, shoes, and the overskirt of her dress. Okay, so we're going to do her hat, her shoes, and the, her overskirt, which is this little part here underneath this clock. So I'm going to use W10, 8, 6, 4, and 2 for that. And I'm going to start down here on her shoes, and I'm going to start with W10. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this darkest color right along the sole of her shoe. Same with this side. And this one kind of curls up a little bit that you can see the underside, so I'm going to brush just a little bit of this underneath there. And then I'm going to move to W... Whoops, let's get over here right here next to the shoe where it's coming up behind this one. Like that. And then I'm going to grab W8, and I'm just going to add a little bit more right on top of my W10. So I'm brushing that line away just a little bit. And then we'll go to W6. Then I'm going to add my W6 right here in the crease of her shoe, too. And then I'm going to go to W4. And then I'm going to fill it in with my W2. And I'm going to get inside the little buckle, too, where her shoe would be showing through. Like that. So let's go up here and do her skirt, over skirt next. So again, I'm going to start with the W10. And she's got a little bit over here on this side, so I'm going to go just a little bit up from the bottom before it touches her skirt. And then I'm going to get this side where it's touching her skirt. And I'm going to grab the back side of her dress right up here to where it stops there where her bodice is. And then we're going to get the skirt. So let's go ahead and just go down the back side a little line. I think I'll bring my line over just a little bit here on the bottom. Then I'm going to go to W8 and you're just going to go right over the top of your W10 you lay down and add just a little bit more color. And I'm going to turn my image here just a little bit so I can flick away from me. We don't want to be getting black everywhere so I'm going to try to be careful. this line. And then we're going to go to W6. And add a little bit more to this side of her dress. Fill in a little bit more of her bodice. And we're going to get down here on her skirt. And I'm going to kind of avoid that little dot she's got there at the bottom and make that one lighter so it looks like it's um, a little shiny spot. I'm going to go ahead and flick right over the top of that chain. I think I'll go around the watch. Like that. Then I'm going to grab W4. And I'm going to put a little bit more over here and fill in a little bit more on this side of her dress. Let's add a little bit more to this underskirt, or I guess it's an overskirt. Very lightly just brush out there, softening that line.
and then I'm going to fill it in with W2. And I also, with my W2, I filled in these little lacy scallops she's got here on the edge, and I've covered up these little shiny spots that are on the skirt. I'm just going to brush right over that line and soften the whole thing. I think I'll go up here and just soften this just a little bit more up here on the top part of her dress. like that, but it's got a nice little shiny area on this side where this I want the light to be coming at her from this way. So let's go do her hat, and for her hat I'm going to use W10 to start with again. And I want her hat to be dark right along the edge of her face right here, so I'm going to add a little line of that right along here, over to the end of the line that's already there for you. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do right behind her hair, and I'm going to do up to this little curly Q thing there. And then on this side, I'm going to do just a little bit here at the tip. And maybe a little bit on the tip of this. Maybe bring that up here to about her hairline there. And then let's do where the hat kind of folds over and causes a shadow and underneath the little buckle. And we're going to do this underside of her hat just a little bit. And here's where the hat kind of dips in, so I'm going to put a little bit in there. And I want to go across this little buckle thing she's got here, like that. Just adding a few little shadows in there. And then I'm going to grab W8, and I'm going to start where I started to begin with, and I'm just going to brush right over the top of that line just a little bit. And feather that out. Like that. Go back up here. Add a little bit more up here. Get in the crease of her hat a little bit more. Go to the top of this little buckle. Maybe get some of these this little curly cue that looks like it's going down here a little bit. So that added just a few more, lighten my shadows up just a little bit so I can work out to my lightest color. So then I'm going to grab W6, and we're just going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to flick, out, flick over your W8 and pull your color out. Bring it out a little bit more. Maybe I'll brush this one out just a little bit more on that side. I'm going to go ahead and brush this side underneath of her hat all the way up to her hair because it's underneath so I want it to still be pretty dark under there. And then we're going to go right on the top here, add a little bit to that little shadow area. And brush this little underside up. Brush over the top of these lines and soften those lines. We'll grab W4. I'll fill in this underside of her hat here. I'll brush over this line to soften that, but we'll still leave a little bit of a space there at the top so we can add our lightest color so it's got a little highlight there at the top. We're going to go right along this. Oh, there's not much room left here, so I'm going to fill that all the way in. But if you have lots of room, you could leave a little space there for um, your lightest color. Sometimes I put more color than the last time, so it just depends on how much you got laid down as to how much room you got and how many markers you're actually going to get to use. Okay, and then let's grab W2 and fill that in. Like that.
And that's a wrap. Okay, so let's go work on the top of her dress right up here, her sleeves and her bodice. And for that, we're going to use BV04, BV02, BV01, and BV40s. So I'm going to start with BV04, and you're going to add that where you want it to be darkest. So on this side of her... Oh, and look, I forgot part of her arm right there. So I'll fix that later. But I'm just going to make it darkest right next to her body and underneath of her hair. And then we're going to get right at the top of her little underskirt along the edge because that's going to cost, cast a shadow. Her little necklace is going to cast a shadow too, so I'm going to put a little bit on there. Go up this side underneath of her hair. And then I want the light to be shining at her from this way, so I'm going to get the back of this sleeve. Like that. And I'm going to do both, all of these little wrinkles she's got in her dress. And this cute little bottom of her shirt, the little cuff there. And then let's do, I think I'm going to leave that light up here at the top. So then I'm going to go to BV02 and you're going to brush right over the top of the four and pull that out just a little bit and soften your line. Go up here and get around this necklace. Um, next to this hair. And go around the back of her sleeve. Then we're going to grab BB01. Add a little bit more on top of this. Just a little bit over here on this side to add some highlight. I'm going to add a little bit more. And I'm going to go up to her little collar. Right here, maybe get underneath where there's a little line on our collar, do that. Then we'll use the lightest color to um, color that little ruffle. Okay, and then you're just going to fill that in with BV triple or quadruple zero. And we're going to get our collar. like that. That looks pretty good. So now let's go do... Oh, how about her skirt right here? That should be fun, this next, this orange part. Okay, so let's move on to our oranges, and that is going to be YR09, YR07, YR04, and then I'm going to add some yellow with Y02. So I'm going to start with YR09, and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do the little um, belt on the top of her hat first. So I'm going to do right next to the edge of that little buckle. And I'm going to get this underside. And then let's do just a little bit next to that buckle. And then I'm going to go to YR07. And just add a little bit more. And then YR04. And we're just going to fill the rest of that area in. And you could go over it a second time if you want it to be darker. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I took the Y02 and just added a little bit of yellow color to it. I just went over the whole thing. And just lightens it a little bit and gives it a little bit more of a yellowish um, cast. Okay, so let's go down here and work on her socks, too. They had little orange stripes. So I did every other stripe, so you can pick whatever stripe you want. And I'm going to start with my YR09 first, and I'm going to do where I want it to be darkest. So I'm going to go from the back of her skirt, or the back of her sock, towards the front, because I want the front of her socks to be a little bit lighter. And 
and then we'll do YR07 and add just a little bit on, add a little bit to that and make sure to touch down on the color you just laid down so that it will soften that line. And then you're going to fill it in with YR04. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over the whole thing with my Y02 again just to give it a little bit more yellow and highlight it just a little bit. Like that. Okay, and then let's go up here. Since we have the oranges out, let's do her skirt too. So again, I'm going to start with the YR09. And I'm going to add where I want my shadows to be. So I am going to do... Oh, right here I forgot part of her. She's got part of her underskirt right here too. So I'm going to have to go back and do that here in just a second. So I'm going to add some dark to each one of these little, these little sh creases she's got there. And then I'm going to go right down the, next to the edge of this underskirt. around each of these little lines and then I want the back of her skirt to be darker so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit to that and then I want the the bottom of her skirt to be dark so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a, a line right along the bottom and I'm going to skip this little jagged part we're going to go around that same with this one clear over to this side like that. Okay, and then I'm going to grab YR07 and we're just going to um, add a little bit more color to that. So I'm going to go over the lines I already laid down. So you want to get each one of these little creases. I'm going to turn it here so I can flick away. And then I'm going to go flick right over the top of my YR09. Add a little bit more color. Try to avoid those little highlight spots. Go bring that that wrinkle all the way down. Okay, and then I'm going to fill it in with the um, YR04. Go back here. Fill in this little spot. And we'll just brush our way right across our dress. And you may have to go over your line a couple of times. I'm going to go back over here and go over it again, soften that line just a little bit more. brush this way so I try not to get it outside the lines too much. Okay, I like how that blended. So then I'm going to add my yellow. So I'm going to go with my Y02 and I'm just going to brush over the whole thing just to lighten it just a little bit and add that more of a yellow tone. It helps soften those, some more of those lines too if you didn't get them all the way um, blended out with the YR04. There, doesn't her skirt look good? So let's go back and um, add a few of the colors that I missed under her skirt and her arm here. 
Okay, so I forgot her arm on this side, so I'm going to take my W, or sorry, my E00, and I'm just going to color in this little bitty patch of arm she's got showing. Take care of that. And then she's got on her dress here, I forgot this little section of, she's got a little puff of underskirt that shows right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of that. And then let's do the underneath of her skirt just a little bit too. So I'm going to get right along the edge here just a little bit. Maybe right along the edge underneath of this side. Well, that was W10. And then I'm going to grab W8 and we're going to add just a little bit more on top. Then I'm going to go with W6. Same thing, just brush right over your line just a little bit. You're just trying to soften the edge of that line just a tad. And then I'm running out of room, so I'm down here on the under part, so I'm going to go with W4. And I'm just going to fill that in all the way. Just a little bit more on here. Let's fill this little side of her underskirt in. Soften my line just a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in, I'm going to take W2, and she's got a little bit of her lace showing over here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then each of these little highlighted spots in her dress. And if you colored some orange in there, you could take your colorless blender and um, erase it. I'm just going to go right over the top of it. My little hazel is not destined to be on a card today. I'm already moved on to Christmas cards, so doing Halloween is not going to be happening. So she's going to go in the pile of I'm never going to use her. Okay, so that is her skirt. It looks like I finally got all the parts that I missed. So let's do, um, let's get this little watch up here. So for the little watch, it looks like I used Y02 and Y00. So I'm going to start with Y02. And I'm going to get dark right along the edge and maybe along the back side. And then for this little watch, I'm going to get the case. Maybe this little bubble up here at the top, the little bob. And then for her socks, I'm going to use this color for that too. So I'm going to get the O2 at the back of her sock, because remember I want it to be darkest back there. And then I'm going to take Y00 and just fill that in. Same for the watch. We're just going to cover that all the way up. And let's do her buckles on her shoes, too. So I'm going to do Y02. And it's such a little dinky area, I'm just going to fill that all the way in. And then how about the buckle up here on her hat? Let's go ahead and fill that all the way in. There, that looks pretty good. Let's do the bat. So for the bat, we're going to use, I'm going to use a little um, lighter of the W's. I'm not going to use all the dark ones. So I'm going to go with W6, W4, and W2. I'm going to start with W6. And you're just going to add a little bit of the W6 because it's still pretty dark, just to the spots where you want it to be the darkest. So I'm going to say he's going to be dark underneath of his little chin here. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe underneath of his arm just a little bit. Next to his body bottom of his foot and I'm just barely using the tip of my pen so I add just a little bit maybe the bottom of his little ears here like that and then I don't want to get too close to his face because I still want to be able to see it so I'm going to do W4 next and then we're going to go up here and add some to his ear and that one doesn't have very much space left so I'm just going to fill it in and let's do right we want to go over all the lines you already did so that you soften the edges. I'm going to get right above his little nose. Do, here's his little feet. 
And soften those edges like that. And then he's got his little wings here. Let's do, let's brush the inside of these little spots he's got for that. And then I'm going to take um, W2 and I'm going to fill in the rest of his face. And let's get his ear and his body. Fill in his wings. And then I'm going to grab R20 and R30 to do um, the pink parts. So he's got some ears here. I wanted to make those a little bit pink. So I'm going to do R20. And I'm going to lay that down where I want it to be darkest. So let's do the bottom. And then I went ahead and made his little tummy a little bit pink. So let's add a little bit of that. Then let's make the bridge of his nose right up here. Give his nose a little bit of pink. Make him look cute. And then I took R30 and I feathered the edges and filled it in. And then just to soften his nose a little bit more, I took my W2 and I'm just going to lightly go over that, his face, just a little bit to add a little bit on there. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then for his wings, it looks like I went ahead and I took... Um, my V25 and I added a little bit of um, purple onto his sh his wings. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to add the V25 right along the back of his wing and I'm going to go down each of these little creases he's got right here. Just so she, he matches a little bit of her dress. And that's just a little bit, but it makes it look a little bit cuter. So let's move on to her broom. And it looks like for her broom, we are going to use E31, Y21, Y11, and Y quadruple zero. Okay, so let's do E31 first, and it looks like I'm going to use that on the handle. So you're going to put that wherever you want it to be darkest, so let's get underneath the handle right here. Kind of where he's sitting, under on the bottom side, like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Y21. I'm just going to go over that just a little bit and fill in the rest. And you can go back with your E31 and add more shadows if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and go right along the bottom of my broom and darken that up just a little bit. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to do um, the broom, the actual broom part. And so for that, I'm going to use each Y21 as my darkest. And I'm just going to brush some of that on. He's got a little tie there, so I'm going to skip that, but I'm going to add a little bit down here next to this. And then let's go right in here and add some. Maybe brush back away from this line with a few streaks. And let's do underneath just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the Y11 and add some more on there. So we're going to go right over the edge. And this one's way yellower than the last one, so it's going to make it a lot brighter. And then we're going to fill it in with Y quadruple zero. I'm just going to go right over that. Whoops, got stuck on my finger. I'll go back and add a little bit more shadow, so I'm going to take my Y21 and just brush a few more on there. Maybe just use the tip of your pen and add some 
little streaks like we do sometimes to the hair. There, that looks like a brim. Looks pretty good. So what color did I color these little feathers? Okay, looks like for that I used W642 and then Y0. Oh, Y02, sorry, Y02. And so I'm going to start with my W6. And you're just going to add some shadows where you want it to be shadowed. So I'm just going to do underneath, because it's got a little band right here, underneath side. And then I'm going to do right along the edge of the back side of these little feathers. Just add a little bit of dark there. Then I'm going to grab W4. And add a little bit more on top of that. And then we're going to fill it in with um, W2. And then I use the Y02 to color in the bottom of these little feathers. So they're a different color. Makes them a little bit brighter. And then there's this cute little bell right here that I'm going to add Y21 to. So I'm just going to brush a little bit of that on the bottom side. And then I'm going to take my Y02 and fill it in. Like that. Then it looks like for the ground we're going to use... Oh, we got a few colors here. Um, we're going to use W8642, and then we're going to use BV02 and BV quadruple zero. Okay, so it looks like I gave her just a little bit of a dotty background under on the ground down here. So I'm going to start with my W8, and you're just going to randomly put little dots wherever you want them to go. So I'm just going to randomly go along and put some dots out here. Maybe put a few closer to her foot. And you can go out as far as you want. Maybe put a few up here because it's going to be around the back. So like that. And then you're going to switch to W6. And you're just going to do the same thing. And I try to put them not so right over the top of the other ones, but it's okay if you do put some on top. I'm just bouncing my pin up and down and adding some dots out here. Okay, same thing with W4. You're just going to continue along. I just wanted her to have something different to stand on this time. So I thought this little dotty background would be a cute alternative to just putting a shadow underneath of her. Kind of looks like rocks a little bit. And then we're going to do W2. And just quickly up and down with your pen. Dot along with the... And the dots will be different sizes depending on how long your pen sits there on your paper. Because the minute that pen touches the paper, it starts sucking up ink. Or how hard you're pushing too. So I've got random sized dots. And then I'm going to add a little bit of purple in here. So I'm going to do BVO2 just so I have a little bit to match to go with her dress. Like that. Oh, maybe a few more over here. And then we'll finish off with BV quadruple zero. And it's going to look messy. That's okay. That was the whole point of having the different background, is to have it a little pebbles like she's standing out there. And you could even go over it if you wanted it not to look so um, spotty with the BV trip quadruple zero. Just color over the whole thing, and that would um, smear it together a little bit. But I'm just going to leave mine like that. I think that looks fabulous. And then to outline our girl, I took C0, um, and I just am going to go all the way around and add an outside um, outline to her body. So I'm going to go around the broom. Around the feathers. Get 
get some of those little strings that are popping up. Don't forget in between her arm there. And this little string around this weird piece of hair that's hanging out. I don't know why they have that on there. Go around her hat. between her hair right here. Go around our cute little bat. Bats aren't my favorite thing, but he does look kind of cute sitting there on her little broom. All the way down. Should we get back to the bottom of her shoe? And that will just add just a little bit of a highlight on there um, just to make her stand out a little bit. You can hardly see it once it's dry, but it adds just a little bit more. So that is Hazel, and she is totally adorable, and I hope you had fun coloring along with me. And um, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.